Well hi folks, if you remember earlier on in the year I did an experiment where I've grown my potatoes as normal in the compost pots in the bed and then I grew a sapo and then some Nicola or Charlotte look again I can't remember in a mixture of sharp sand and soil sort of 50 50 sharp sand and soil so basically it was almost free for me because I've got unlimited sharp sand and unlimited molehill soil so now is the time to tip the the first one out it's not looking very healthy I must admit it's looking a bit yellow and a bit stunted compared to that first early those first earlies in there but having said that the sapo looks quite good but I'll, I'll wait until I'm harvesting the sapos later on to do to, to show you if there's any difference so we'll get this one out and see what it's like like I said it doesn't look too healthy so I'm not uh, I'm not too hopeful all right then folks I think the best way to attack these is to empty them into a wheelbarrow because I've just tried to lift it up and I can hardly lift it it's so heavy with it being sand and soil and moisture so we'll see like I said not expecting much at all I need some potatoes tonight so if these are rubbish I'll uh, I'll empty out a pot of normal ones and see if we've got an, a decent crop out of those so gee whiz that is so heavy have we got any oh yeah we've got them. let's have a look surprising we're getting some just count the seed potatoes that's one seed potato potatoes we've got potatoes folks wow they look as good if not as if not better than my little pot of normal compost grown ones to be honest again these are a little bit on the small side but look at that considering it has such a tiny little set of leaves on it I'm quite astounded by this <laughs> another sea potato there so let's just avoid being stung by this rose God, I'm disorganized today wow 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 I thought it'd be absolutely wet through and it's not look it's nice and dry because it's full of sand it's well drained and it does appear to have worked even though on first impressions I thought it wouldn't that's the three little seed potatoes I only put three little reject ones in there because it was just as a bit of a trial this but I am absolutely astonished with this it's as good if not better than the ones in the normal compost and there's me with it, looking at a little tiny pathetic plant thinking there's not going to be anything in it there's more there's more so let me just get through some of this let's try and get them all out and the soil is absolutely perfect look at that it's dry but just slightly moist so I will be using this method again so there you go it's not what it looks like on the tops what's underneath See if we can manage to get a few more out. Oh, I'm really astounded by this, folks. A few more, look, coming out. A quick riddle through this lot. Another one there. Let's get them all set out so you can see. No, I'm astounded considering how pathetic the plant was. Looking, looking yellow. And little tiny leaves on it. I would definitely say I've got three pound out of that pot okay not brilliant but I kept the sea potatoes myself from last year's crop and like I said the soil's absolutely free and I'm going to use, be using this again next year the same stuff just adding a little bit more fertilizer to it so I'm really really surprised with that honestly thought it was going to be the biggest disappointment of all time well, there we go a lovely set of spuds from basically free compost which is molehill soil which I can collect as much of as I like and sharp sand which I've got absolutely tons and tons of 
and then I can just keep using it again just adding a bit more fertilizer and that'll be it so there you go folks experiment done absolutely chuffed a bit see you later